Dear students, welcome back to the second semester BSc physics class. In this session, we shall discuss about second law of thermodynamics in terms of entropy. From the discussions of earlier sessions, we came to know that the first law of thermodynamics is about the concept of internal energy and the first law of thermodynamics is also called as law of internal energy. But in the second law of thermodynamics, there is a concept of heat flow and also there is a concept of entropy. The second law of thermodynamics gives the information about the direction of heat flow or the energy flow. Since when there is a flow of heat from a hot body to a cold body, there will be a change in entropy of the system. We can look into the change in entropy in either way so that the entropy of a hotter body decreases as it releases the energy and the entropy of the colder body which receives the energy or the heat, its entropy increases. Hence, there is a fantastic relation between the second law of thermodynamics and the entropy. The second law of thermodynamics set the preferred direction for many physical processes including heat flow. Since the entropy is a state variable, so thermodynamic system with the state variables temperature, pressure and volume also has a definite entropy. Here the state variable entropy cannot be measured but the change in entropy can be measured. The principle of increase of entropy is one of the most important laws of physical science. It is the quantitative statement of the second law of thermodynamics and this can be stated as every irreversible process is accompanied by entropy increase of the universe. But in case of the reversible process, entropy will be zero. We know that all spontaneous processes in nature occur only in one direction from a higher to a lower potential and these are accompanied by an entropy increase of the universe. When the potential gradient is infinitesimal that is zero in limit, the entropy change of the universe is zero and the process is reversible we can say. The second law of thermodynamics indicates the direction in which a process takes place. Hence, a process always occurs in such a direction as to cause an increase in the entropy of the universe. Now, let us look into the statements of second law of thermodynamics. There are two statements given by Kelvin and Clausius. Kelvin's statement is like this, it is impossible to get a continuous supply of work from a body by cooling it to a temperature lower than that of its surroundings. We have discussed this earlier. The example for this is 
heat engine. Another statement of second law of thermodynamics is process statement. It states that it is impossible to make heat flow from a body at lower temperature to a body at higher temperature or vice versa without doing an external work on the working substance. That is, heat cannot flow by itself from a colder body to a hotter body. This implies that some external work is to be done on the system to make the system as it, it works in such a way that it absorbs heat from a colder body and transfers it to a hotter body. This is only possible when an external work is done on the system. And the example can be given for this is the refrigerator. In a working of a refrigerator, some external work is done by using the working of a compressor and the heat from substance inside the refrigerator which is at a colder temperature and it is drawn from it and it is left to the surroundings. Now let us consider a closed system and we can consider the example of a reversible as well as the irreversible process and we can come to know about the change in entropy in both these processes. If a process occurs in a closed system, the entropy of the system increases for irreversible process and remains constant for a reversible process, but it never decreases. Entropy is a state property or a state function of the system, that is, it depends only on the state of the system and not on the way in which the system reached the state. This means entropy depends only on the initial state and final state of the process and it is not depend on the path of the system. So whether it is having many paths, the process is having many paths like 1, 2, 3 or ABC, the entropy will not depend on the path of the system. It only depends on, on the initial and final states. Hence, it is called as a state function. Entropy is a state function. Now, let us consider for a reversible process, the change in entropy can be given by. So, here, as you see in the figure, in a closed system, a reversible process can be taken from state 1 to state 2 along the path A. And from state 2 to state 1 along the path B. It is a reversible process. For this reversible process, the change in entropy can be given by integration of delta Q or dQ by T is equal to 0. Therefore, we can write this as integration of dQ by T from state 1a to 2a, here a represents the path of the process taking place, 1 and 2 represents the initial and final state of the process. Plus, in a reverse direction, it is a reversible process. Let us integrate dq by t from state 2 to state 1 along the path b. The summation of these two entropy change will be equal to 0. Now consider the reversible process from state 1 to state 2 along path A and returning from state 2 to state 1 along the path C. The equation will be like this. Like this. Integration of dq by t from state 1 to state 2 along path A plus integration of dq by t 
from state 2 to state 1 along path C. So, this summation is also equal to 0. From both these equations 1 and 2, we get the summation of equation 1 is equal to summation of equation 2. That implies integration of dq by t from state 2 to state 1 along path b is equal to integration of dq by t from state 2 to state 1 along the path c. This shows that the change in entropy that is given by integration of dq by t, so where dq is the amount of heat absorbed or rejected at the temperature t has the same value in all the reversible paths from state 2 to state 1. But it is independent of the path and it is a function of the end states of the system only. Therefore, it is a property of the thermodynamics. The entropy change which is represented as delta S for an irreversible process that takes a system from an initial state 1 to final state 2 is exactly equal to the entropy change delta S for any reversible process that takes the system between those same two states. Hence, we can say change in entropy is a thermodynamic property which depends only on the two states. The change in entropy between state 2 to state 1 can be given by delta S which is equal to S2 minus S1, S2 is the entropy change and S1 is also entropy change. The difference in these two is equal to delta Q by T or dQ by T. Here Q is the energy transfer as heat to or from the system during the process and T is the temperature of the system in Kelvin during the process. The second law of thermodynamics which is an extension of the entropy postulate as we discussed states that if a process occurs in a closed system the entropy of the system increases for irreversible process and remains constant for reversible process, but it never decreases. The behavior of the entropy of the universe as a result of any kind of process may be represented in equation form as delta S is greater than or equal to 0, where the equality sign refers to reversible process and the inequality sign refers to the irreversible process. Hence, the above equation is a succinct statement of the second law of thermodynamics.